Hello, good morning, evening, and good night. My name is Lily Grunbauer, and today, the history of the creator of the Pokemon franchise, Satoshi Tajiri. Satoshi Tajiri, best known as the creator and the founder of the Pokemon franchise, was born on August 28, 1965 in Mashida in Tokyo. His father was a Nissan car salesman and his mother cared for him at home. As a child, Tajiri enjoyed collecting insects as a hobby and would trade those insects with his friends for other insects. Other children called him Dr. Bug because of his fascination with bugs. He spent every spare moment studying and collecting them. But when he realized that some of them kill each other in captivity, he let them go. Soon the rice paddies and woods of his hometown became apartment buildings and shopping centers. And his local fishing pond was replaced by an arcade center. In reaction, his interest shifted to anime and video games. And Tajiri became fascinated with arcade games. Tajiri was going from high school to technical school where he spent all of his time in arcades. He especially enjoyed playing Taito's Space Invaders. He also dismantled Nintendo systems to see how it worked and how those systems were made. At the age of 16 he won a Sega contest for best new game idea. He spent the next two years learning programming and the third year producing his first game. Quinty, made entirely on his own. At the age of 18, 1982, Tajiri and his friends formed a gaming magazine by the name of Game Freak. Later on April 26, 1989, Satoshi Tajiri created the company Game Freak as the official Game Freak company still known to this day. The idea for what would become the Pokemon games had existed in Tajiri's mind for a while. The shift for Tajiri for making an actual concept began when he saw two children playing together with Game Boys using the Game Link cable. He imagined insects scrolling along the cable between the two systems. He wanted to allow children to have the feeling of catching and collecting creatures and the possibility to trade those creatures with friends as he had as a child. Actual game development of the Pokemon idea began as Capsule Monsters in 1990 with Tajiri as the story and the mind and with his friend Ken Sugimori as the Pokemon artist. Ken Sugimori worked along others together with Game Freak. Tajiri pitched the Capsule Monsters concept to Nintendo, however it was rejected, there were issues with the copywriting of the name. Shigeru Miyamoto, the founder of Mario The Legend of Zelda and Donkey Kong began to mentor Tajiri and guiding him during the creation process. They first made the name shorter to Kapu Mon and then changed it to Pocket Monsters. Tajiri pitched the Pocket Monsters concept again to Nintendo, they could not quite grasp the concept but were impressed enough with Tajiri's game design reputation and they decided to explore the concept. The name Pokemon is short for Pocket Monsters but when they tried to localize it here they had issues because Pocket Monsters sounded unappealing and unattractive. Pocket Masters would have sounded dirty to a native English speaker. The development of the first Pokemon games, Red and Green, was incredibly difficult for the team at Game Freak. With the six year development period and low finances of the company causing many of the staff to leave for other employment, Tajiri himself worked long hours, many of them unpaid, in order to bring Pokemon out, finally releasing them on February 27, 1996. An international success, Game Freak became recognized as one of the best game developers Nintendo had ever working for them. Mr. Tajiri, now 51 years old, issues the current violence of the video games and describes this as a cultural norm in Japan as well. He wanted to have his characters faint instead of die because he believes children should respect death. And I agree, respect death guys. When asked about having monsters in a children's game, Tajiri uses the analogy of a horse who is dangerous if he gallops over you, but a useful friend if you're riding him. He added, what's more important is that the monsters are controllable by the players. It could be the monsters within yourself, fear or anger for example, and they're put in capsules. Tajiri still works at Game Freak and oversees development of the main Pokemon games. While none of his other games ever matched Pokemon in popularity, he deserved recognition as one of the most important designers in history for his work in bringing the Pokemon series for one of the most recognizable and popular games ever existed. Though the franchise is currently the second most successful game franchise in the world, placing shortly behind Mario. The character Ash Ketchum, named Satoshi in Japan, is a version of Tajiri as a child. Tajiri's favorite Pokemon is not even a big type Pokemon, no, it's Poliwhirl. Yes, do you want more facts about Tajiri or about Pokemon, you need to check this out because I made a video about 50 awesome Pokemon facts. You need to know, you must watch these awesome facts about Sun and Moon facts about Gyarados and about 
professors you need to check it out check it out right here it's awesome there you have it a video about tajiri's life yes did you like this video give a like did you like this video more than more share with your friends everywhere follow me on twitter and facebook subscribe to my channel to stay tuned and see you next time guys Oh, <laughs>